so I'm exhausted. Um, and I've been working on cleaning my damn room all day. Um, <laughs> and it's still not done yet. Basically, I've uh, decided to convert a um, uh, an old dresser that I had been using for under the bed storage to uh, out from under the bed storage. I've got like a bed frame now that I've been using for a while and I've been meaning to convert this other thing also for a while. Um, so I got to that today uh, and it was a tedious process because the thing is heavy because it was never supposed to be used for the purpose it was used for. Not that I'm upset, you know, it served its purpose for a bit, right? Um, not only for me, but for the person who gave it to me and didn't want it to go to waste. So in that spirit of, uh, of sort of zero waste, I uh, used the thing that I had. And uh, I'm still not quite done repurposing the parts, but it's going to be really fucking cool when I am done with it. Uh, I'll be sure to post pics. Um, also... Uh, I, I'm gonna post relatively soon a chili recipe to TikTok um, that should give you my, my chili recipe uh, that I use for my chili dogs for Chili Dog Wednesday. And for those of you who don't know about Chili Dog Wednesday, um, Chili Dog Wednesday is my, uh, my sort of weekly homage to Sonic. And, um, in my weekly homage to Sonic, I, um, I have two chili dogs, at least, um, and so that it's, like, you know, respectful to the, uh, the, the Black Knight intro. Um, and I have two chili dogs, uh, with, uh, with cheese on top, uh, alongside some eggs and a carrot, or some other source of dietary fiber. Uh, lately it's been a carrot because that's been available but basically the reason I'm bringing this up is because uh, Twitter in their infinite wisdom decided to boost Inside Edition and when they were boosting Inside Edition what did they boost well an article uh, saying that uh, <laughs> and, and, and brace yourself for alarmism Eating a single hot dog may take 36 minutes off your life. Study says. So, I knew this was alarmist trash as soon as I saw it. Because Twitter was pushing it really hard. So, I'm going to read the article and sort of generally react to it. Because I have skin in this game, you know? My traditions are at stake. And I must be very serious to fulfill my religious obligation. Um, but that being said, uh, the, the article is by IE staff. They don't want you to know who said this. Um, isn't it always, it, by the way, just funny when somebody says that, like, this is by our staff. The other ones aren't. Like, you don't have, like, an artist page or whatever, you know, an author page. You don't have anything like that. You just have, this is your staff, and the rest of the people are unpaid interns. I mean, even an unpaid intern is still a staff. Whatever. Um, the University of Michigan study also warns that eating other popular foods, including bacon and pizza, may also shorten your life, but healthy foods may prolong it. Here's how they stack up. So, <laughs> May. That word is a weasel word. It means that if I live a really fucking long time uh, by, by doing what I normally do, and the people who follow their advice don't, they can just say that I'm one of the people who the May didn't apply to. That's what that word is there for. It's there so that it doesn't matter whether or not their thing meets itself out. They're still right. So it's sleazy, it's weasley, and it shouldn't happen. But this is bad journalism at its finest. Because <laughs> bad news for BBQ lovers and eating competitors alike. 
fucking competitors. I want to call them competitors now that I've made that mistake. Eating a single hot dog may take 36 minutes off your life, according to a new study from the University of Michigan. Where? I, 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 this is the problem I have, first off, with this entire piece. They don't fucking link it. They don't link it. Uh, they link to their tag, Michigan. They don't link to the study. They want you to read this and then read other Inside Edition articles pretty badly. But they don't want you to read the study. I wonder why they don't want you to read the study. If it's true, that means Miki Sudo has lost 10,080 minutes or seven days of her life just from participating in seven Nathan's hot dog eating contests where she took home the championship title. I will take the study with a grain of salt, and how that grain of salt affects my health span is yet to be determined, Sudo told Inside Edition. I really like Sudo's response there. I like it. It's good. It's very good. Because they just wanted to pick her out. That's that, This is fairness doctrine. If you want to look into shady journalism, look into the long-term effects of the fairness doctrine, where suddenly having different people of different mentalities on is the the gold standard not factualness not reason but we had enough people on that's not how facts work that's not how science or reason works uh you need to have people on who like could speak to the opposite not make it obvious that this is what you're doing. In the video that they have included in the fucking article, they have her just jamming hot dogs down her face. They have fucking footage of, of the uh, the hot dog eating contest, and it's clearly designed to make her look like shit because they're sleaze bags, because they're fucking worthless. This is something Twitter decided to put in front of everybody. It's totally okay to humiliate somebody in front of everybody, you know? This is what Twitter wants. They want people to start bullying people for not believing their sources. I don't believe their source, by the way, because their source is misinterpreting a study and what it's intended to say. Um, but just to be real clear and super specific, I'm going to finish this article. <laughs> The study warns that eating other popular foods may also sh shorten your life. Here's how they stack up according to the study. Bacon, 6 minutes, 30 seconds. Pizza, 7 minutes, 8 seconds. Double cheeseburger, 8 minutes and 8 seconds. The study also lists food that add to your lifespan, including avocados, 2 minutes, 8 seconds. Bananas, 13 minutes, 30 seconds. Nutritionist Joy Bauer is author of Superfood 150 Recipes for Eternal Youth. And then, then, then it's an ad for her book. It's just an ad for her book. It's an ad for her book. Mock this woman for eating hot dogs. She's terrible. Buy this other woman's book. That's what this is. It's not journalism. It's not reason. It's not ethical. All it is, is we're going to shit on a group of people. You're going to shit on this group of people with us, and you're going you're gonna to embrace this other group of people and buy their merchandise. Hey, we're just a member of a, you know, a press mafia, one could say. A mob. You know? You do what we want you to, we give you positive coverage, we let you plug your book. You do what we don't want you to, and maybe, maybe we'll just make you look like an ass. So, I'm going to skip their ad. Salmon supposedly adds 13 minutes and 5 seconds to your life. And surprisingly, this study says a peanut butter and jelly sandwich actually adds 33 minutes and 6 seconds. <laughs> So, she says, when it comes to the PB&J sandwich, it's the nut butter that prevails. It's got heart-healthy fat, protein, fiber, and it's totally delicious. 
So it's not the sandwich, it's the fucking butter. You're lying. The sandwich isn't it. You're just talking about how it's healthy to eat peanut butter. But what peanut butter? Oh, unsalted, which isn't what most people use. Just peanut butter, sure. Peanut butter with salt has salt, just like fucking salty hot dogs, which, if you read the study, is what they're upset about. The salt and the hot dogs. And the processed meat. Why? Because the study is uh, biased toward vegan lifestyles and wants everybody to go vegan. Really, that's it. And by that token, they're saying that, like, the vegan lifestyle is better for not only you, but the environment. And most of the study also includes an environmental impact thing. How bad are avocados for the environment? Really fucking bad. So, why are we listening to Twitter, who's listening to Inside Edition, who's listening to Joy Bauer, who's advertising a book rather than looking at the fucking study instead. Because the average Twitter user is just so fucking retarded that they can't understand when you make a point that involves actual studies. You can't link this study. You have to do it this way. It's fucking stupid. It's really bad. Read the study. The study is actually much more nuanced than this bullshit. The study actually cites some interesting things. Now, do I like the fact that the study is making an openly pro-vegan thing as its primary thrust? Do I like the fact that it's, like, promoted by all these outlets without actually being holistic about the information presented? Do I like the fact that Twitter is shoving this in your face so that you can't think for yourself and you just assume that it's correct? That is if you're their target demographic. I hope you aren't. Um, do I like that all this stuff is happening? No. I like the study, though. The study's interesting. I read the study. I want you to read the study. Please read the study. But I thought I'd just, you know, kind of bring this kind of stuff up because I think it's valuable to understand media manipulation. And, and it's really, really funny how many people don't realize that. They're very okay with saying, don't go on Fox News and watch Tucker Carlson. You will be immediately brainwashed. But they don't actually do anything in terms of filtering their own media information for the most part. That's why you'll hear a lot of people talk about this takes X amount off your lifespan. Because they assume that since somebody said it may, it certainly absolutely is and will. Because they don't know how science or studies work. Like, these studies, they're not, like, guarantees. They're saying that you can improve the chances of living longer. if you eat slightly better. I would have had no idea about that. Thank you so much, Twitter and Inside Edition, for this stunning revelation. <laughs> it's like... It's like... Infantilization. They want you to be a stupid fucking kid. And they don't care about the effects because it lines their pocketbooks and it lets them seem like the arbiter of facts. Fact check this dick, Twitter. You have nothing in terms of provability. And that's why you use the weaselly wordy article as your basis. The one that tries to make a woman look like a terrible person because she entered hot dog competitions. The one who who, who you tried to play gotcha games with, the one who you only included one line out of a probably much longer interview with so that you could try to make her seem bad, also that you could advertise this woman's book, which is 150 Recipes for Eternal Youth. 
Fuck you! There is no such thing as eternal youth. There is no such thing as a fountain of youth. There is no such thing as a perfect miracle diet book. You positive critten. Holy shit. If anybody tells you that they have the secret to eternal anything, and they're not part of a religion, tell them to shut the fuck up. Even some of the people who are part of a religion aren't being very reasonable. Even a lot of them are being disingenuous. But somehow they're more okay to tell to shut the fuck up. No. No, just tell Inside Edition to shut the fuck up. If you want better information, read the study. Read it. Don't listen to Inside Edition. Don't listen to this shitty-ass fucking quick-fire blog format while it fucks you in the ears. Don't do that. Don't let it control you like that. Because I, I gotta tell you, it's pretty fucking sad the way the common person absorbs their news media. And it gets people hurt. People are in much worse shape because they don't filter this information. They quick click it on Twitter and then they go spread this information. Oh, you, Becky, you eating a hot dog? Those strip fucking minutes off your life. It's all about virtue signaling. It's all about, I'm better than you because I look at Twitter topics. I look at the For You page on my favorite social media app, and that makes me smarter than you. Meanwhile, the demons are just in the background saying, Yes, more power. Give us more authority over your minds. This will never go wrong. And you, you, they just eat it up. People just eat it up. Yes. Let us be the arbiters of your souls. That's how this is. It really is. I just can't stand it. I really fucking can't. And it's not just because I'm biased. It's not just because I like Sonic the Hedgehog back there. It's not just because I like the whole Chili Dog Wednesday thing and I hope it takes off and I hope you start using that hashtag. Um... It's because this is manipulation. It's terrible. It's propaganda. It's advertising before caring about public health. You don't actually give a fuck, Twitter. You should stop acting like you do. And if you get your information from Twitter topics and don't look any further, your fake news and you will believe whatever lying press happens to come along with the right credentials that you like or the right bias. This is how dictatorships form. It's how tyranny happens. And you're letting it happen drip by drip because you don't like hot dogs. How pathetic. Anyway, um, feel free to like and subscribe if you like angry rants about hot dogs and various other things. Um, and feel free to share this video uh, because most people don't. My algorithm uh, is already basically fucked and uh, people have made it okay to dislike me. I wonder why I would want people to think more for themselves and to smash the fucking state.